Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract integers. You're going to be seeing a lot of numbers like this that are positive. You're going to be seeing blue numbers that are going to be represented by the negatives. And we're going to learn how to add them with one another, as well as how to subtract them as well. And the reason why I've got this cup of water and this ice here is because I want to try to simplify this concept down so it's simple and easy to understand and step by step. Because the problem with people learning how to add and subtract integers is oftentimes they learn strategies, but they're not really strategies. They're more like tricks and rules that they have to use in acronyms like you may have heard of KFC and UFC and 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 rules where if the double negative is a positive and if it's a minus you turn it into an addition and it confuses me enough and I refuse to teach it that way if you want to invent your own systems after you're done understanding how this all works feel free to do so at least then it'll be your system and you'll always remember it so let's get started here because I don't want to get into the math yet. It's confusing enough for so many people. What I want to do is show you a couple examples here of how addition and subtraction works with integers. In integers, we have two types of numbers. We have positive numbers and we have negative numbers. Let me flip them around here. Now we also have neutral numbers like zero, which are neither positive nor negative, but we're going to ignore that for now. All we're going to think about is if the number is negative, we're going to represent it with ice. Why ice? Because ice is cold and negative numbers are cold. Think of a thermometer. Below zero are the negative numbers and they are very cold. So we're going to color them blue and we're going to say ice is going to be negative. Now we could do two things to that ice. We can subtract it or we can add it add it to what subtract it from what add it to water as soon as that ice is added we're adding ice as soon as we add ice to water the water gets colder we have to understand this i need to teach you how to think before we do the math now if i reversed it and i subtracted the ice that would be, that would look a lot like this. That ice is gone. That water is not going to get colder. The water is going to warm up now because there's no ice in it anymore. Okay, so we understand these two things. Adding ice, subtracting ice. Adding ice would be like adding blue numbers. Adding negatives. Subtracting would be like this. This will warm up a drink subtracting ice, where this adding ice to a drink will just make it colder. We all know this, but now we got to train ourselves to think about it in terms of math. Now, instead of negatives, what if we reversed it and said, well, uh, how about adding positives? What could positives be? They're not ice. Well, positives are really hot numbers. So we can symbolize them with not ice, but we're going to pretend this is hot, fiery coal. Coal, C-O-A-L, the same coal that you use, you know, the charcoals that you use in your barbecues at the park, it's the same stuff. If this was hot coal, that would be like positive numbers. And I would need tongs to hold it because it would be super hot. We're going to pretend. And if I add hot coal to water, that water is going to warm up. But if I did the opposite of adding hot coal and I subtracted hot coal, that would be like subtracting it out. What would happen to the water now? Would it get hotter? No, it would get colder. So we need to understand these four things. We add ice, subtract ice, add hot coal, subtract hot coal, and the impact it has on the temperature. If we understand this, then I'm going to take you a little bit through story time. I've got a great story I'd like to share with you, and it's about a chef. And this story is going to really help us understand how to add and subtract integers. It relates to what I just showed you. This chef, he's no ordinary chef. He's a soup chef. He specializes in soup. And although he looks like he's having a good day, he's having a, he was having a bad day moments ago because his stove broke down. So he has no way of adjusting the temperature of the soup. He can't cook it. He can't heat it up and he can't cool it down. Then 
He goes like this because he came up with a brilliant idea. He remembered that in his closet, he had some magic cubes. So he goes to his closet. He takes his bag of cubes out and he realizes that these still work. They're ancient cubes that were handed down to him by his great, great, great grandfather before they even had stoves. Now this here is a red cube. And red cubes are going to be like positive numbers. They are really hot. And he realized that if he added these hot cubes into his soup, the temperature would go up by one degree. If he added two, temperature would go up by two degrees. If he added three. Now, instead of red cubes, he has the option of using blue cubes. You see, if he accidentally made the temperature too hot, he can add these in there. And that would cool the temperature off. These are like ice cubes, but they don't melt. So you have no worry about it dissolving and, and melting in the water. So if you add a cold cube, what will happen is soup will get colder by one. You add two, it gets colder by two. And so forth. And with these, he was able to manipulate the soup's temperature to make it work out. So he can feed all those hungry people. Okay, so if we understand this scenario here. Let's see how the soup chef was able to apply this. He opens up his recipe book and he sees the first recipe in the soup is to mix these two ingredients together. You have a positive six and a positive two and you have to add them together. So he goes and he's like, well, how do I do that? Well, we just finished learning that if you see positive integers like this one and this one, that they're going to be the hot cubes. They're going to be the red ones, which is why I've color coded them. So he goes into his bag and he picks out six of them. And he throws them in there, but he, the recipe's not done yet. Now he has to add two more hot ones. So he goes, he finds two more hot ones and he throws them in. Now, how do we know what the answer to this equation is? Well, it's quite simply this. When you add and subtract integers, and integers in our examples are going to be the hot and cold cubes, those are the integers, then the answer will be represented by the final temperature of our soup. The final temperature of our soup will be the answer. So all we have to do is look at the final temperature. They all raise the temperature by one. Remember, that's what hot cubes do. They make it hotter by eight degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got our final temperature and we've got also our answer. Our answer will be positive eight. It's very similar to what you would have seen in grade two where the teacher would have been like, hey, what's six plus two? It's eight. But now we're adding more symbols. Look at the second example. Here's a recipe. The chef looks at it. He's very happy because he knows what to do. He goes and he puts in six hot ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I count kind of weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he's like, okay, I got a recipe says now I got to take out two hot ones. I got to go in there and take out two hot ones. Remember what we said? If you take out hot cubes, what happens to the temperature? Take out hot cubes. Temperature will cool off, right? Okay, so he goes in. He takes two of them out, looks at what's left over, and he sees it's positive four. So it went from positive six down to positive four. Indeed, it cooled down, just as we expected. The third example. The soup chef looks at it. He says, okay, I could do this. We've got negative three, negative three three cold cubes. But then look what it says. It says that you have to add something. You have to add two cold ones. That's really simple. The chef says he gets two cold ones. He grabs them, two cold ones. He's going to add them in just like that. And then he looks at what's left over. We've got one, two, three, four, five, negative. It's cooled the soup down by five degrees. So we have negative five is our answer. When we added cold cubes, the temperature dropped because we're adding ice. When you add ice, temperature went from negative three, which is cold, 
but it went to negative five, which is brr, even more cold. So remember that. It's got to make sense when you do this stuff. Don't just memorize stuff. Have it sink in. We've got two really interesting examples, in fact. I want you to pay attention to these next two. We start with negative three. The chef looks at it and he says, okay, negative three. I can, I can put three negatives in there. That's not hard. One, two, three. But look what this part here says. It says that you have to subtract cold ones. If you subtract ice, which is what that is, what'll happen to that soup's temperature if you take ice out? Will it get hotter or colder? It'll get hotter because the ice is being removed. Okay, well, let's subtract two ice cubes. He goes in, he grabs two ice cubes, and he subtracts, oh, not three, two. And we have one ice cube left. So we'll say negative one. The temperature went from negative three up to negative one, it warmed up. How about negative three? But now instead of subtracting, we are going to add hot cubes. So the chef goes in, he grabs two hot ones. He puts them in. Now look what happens. It looks like the answer must be five. So I should write five, but it's not. Because remember here what happens is that you've got a scenario where you have this wants to lower it, this wants to raise it. What happens if he lowers it and he raises it? Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. It's sort of like tug of war. If you're pulling on a rope and somebody's pulling on a rope with the same force, the rope doesn't move. It stays where it is. So these do nothing. Think of it another way here. Imagine the blue and the red are best friends. And when they see each other, they team up and they start talking. They have jobs to do. He wants to lower it. He wants to raise it. But when they team up because they love each other, there's besties. They're so distracted that they don't do any work. They just kind of talk. And then he's like, oh, 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 hey, bestie, how you doing? And they team up and they just get so distracted. Nobody here does work, but he's doing his work because he's got no one to talk to. So he just lowers the temperature one. He's the only one doing work. The answer is still negative one, which makes sense because if you add hot cubes, that negative three will warm up and get hotter, which is what it did. It went to negative one, it got warmer. So look what happened here. In the last one, we just removed two cold ones. We subtracted two ice cubes and we got negative one. In the next one, we still subtracted two cold cubes, but we did it in a way that distracts them like this. We added two hot ones. And when you add two hot ones, they become distracted. So they're kind of like they're not even there and you still get negative one. It's so awesome how integers work. You got to train your thinking so you can think about this stuff that way. Let's move on to this one. You have negative four. Okay, that's simple, negative four. And we're going to subtract two cold cubes. So we're going to just go in and subtract two cold ones, pop them off. That's it. Answer is negative two. Look what happens in the next example. We still start with negative four, but I'm not going to go in and just subtract two negatives like I did before, but I'm going to have the same effect. However, I'm going to add two hot ones. I'm going to do this. I'm going to add two hot ones. So when I add those two hot ones, you know what happens? They're like, oh, happy, happy. Look, hey, besties, how you doing? And then they can't do their job. They become distracted. Guess who's working? Two negatives. So you can subtract things by addition. We've added hot cubes. It's distracted the cold cubes, which is kind of like saying, hey, you're not even there anyways to do your job. So I've subtracted these two out through the process of addition. It's so cool. Let's look at this one here. Positive four. So I've got four hot cubes. Okay, there. 
I'm going to subtract three hot ones. So I'm going to subtract three hot ones. That's easy. Just go in, subtract them out. You just get positive one. Now we got here, we got positive four again, like that. But I'm not going to subtract three hot ones like I did before, but I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to add, guess what I'm going to add? I'm going to add three cold ones. You know what happens when I add three cold ones? They go in, they're like, hey guys, how you doing? And there's so much distraction going on that none of these can do their jobs anymore. It's like they're not there. I just get positive one again. Let's take a look at this final page. I've got positive five. Stuff is so fun to play with. I got positive five. I'm going to add two cold ones. So chef goes in. Hey, let's bring our chef back. Chef goes in. He adds two cold cubes, two ice cubes. He goes, ha ha. And then guess what happens? Oh no, we got friends teaming up again. The blues and the reds meeting up. They're saying, hey, a long time no see. They're texting. They're playing, I don't know, Pokemon Go or whatever that game is called. And then you go like this and these are the only ones working. You get positive three. Positive five again, subtracted by positive two. So look what happens here. We have positive five. We're just going to subtract these two out, which is what we did in the last equation. We just did it by doing this in the last one. We added two negatives. We went like this, which made these distracted to get that. Now we're saying, hey, you know what? We're not going to distract you. We're just going to go in and scoop you up. Same effect. Last two questions, negative six. See if you could do this on your own. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna add eight hot cubes. Look what happens. What do you think will happen if I add eight hot cubes? Will it get hotter or colder? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I got one more over here, I've got eight. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun because there's a lot of friendships here that are forming and maybe rekindling. They team up and they team up. Nobody's doing work here except for these two. Temperature warmed up to plus two. It started really cold, negative six. We added some hot cubes. Naturally, the temperature will rise and it finished off at plus two, which is a lot warmer than it was. And then we've got the last one. We've got negative six. So we've got negative sixes right here and we're going to subtract negative five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Subtract them out. Who's doing work? Negative one. Do you have to memorize acronyms? No. Do you have to memorize strategies? No. Do you have to do all this fancy stuff and tricks and, and all these ridiculous rules that drive me over the, over the wall and just makes me go mad and, and just angry sometimes when I see people do it? You don't have to do any of that stuff, guys. Just learn the math the way I showed it to you and I promise you can do any question after that. Now, that being said, it's an introductory lesson, which means there's, the next part's going to show more difficult questions. I hope you had as much fun learning this stuff as I had teaching it. And with that being said, integer addition and subtraction is a lot of fun and can also be quite refreshing. I'll see you guys next time.